Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, what if your God-ordained spouse is dating someone else? So this was a question that was um, asked on one of my other videos. And she was asking this question because she watched my previous video where uh, I was talking about being loyal to your God-ordained spouse, right? And so her question is, what if they are with someone else, you know? basically, do you still be loyal to them? And so here is my advice, okay? And my perspective, because um, the reason why I gave the advice and I made the video to be loyal to your God-ordained spouse is because this is what this is what the Lord told me, okay? He, he revealed this. He, he said this to me, not once, but twice, um, or maybe it was three times, but he began to speak this to me, um, like the beginning not the beginning, the beginning of this year, but I also think it was around December too. But I began to hear God tell me to be loyal to my God ordained spouse. Now, um, and here's the thing, because it's not that we're being loyal to them. We are actually being loyal to God because this instruction is coming from the Lord. Right. And so that's where my obedience, you know, is, is at. I'm like, okay, God, because you telling me to be loyal to him, I will be loyal to my God ordained spouse, which really means I'm being loyal to God. Okay. So that's the first understanding I want you to have. It's not that you're being loyal to someone who is involved in a whole nother relationship. No, you are being obedient to the instruction God is giving you. So if God is telling you to be loyal to your God ordained spouse, then that is up to you to decide whether you want to be obedient to those instructions or disobedient. Okay. And also understand and know that I'm not being loyal to my spouse. I'm being loyal to God first. Okay. So that's the first revelation. The second revelation is, um, because loyalty, that's who I am, right? And when God began to speak that to me, I knew it's like I saw the bigger picture because God is after our character, okay? There's a lot of disloyalty in this world, right? There's a lot of disloyalty in intimate relationship, romantic relationship, even in family and friendship, you know, relationships. So, you know, God is after our character. He's all about growing us up and maturing us, right? Um, and his words stand, you know, what God has joined together, let no man separate, right? What God has joined together, let no disloyalty separate it, right? So again, when I heard God tell me to be loyal to my God-ordained spouse, also understand and know at the time, the first time God told me this, I, I didn't want to. Like, um, it wasn't that I wanted to go and talk to someone else. No, uh, I was just doubting. I was just doubting, like, I don't know. I don't know about this because of the things that I was seeing, right? Um, you know, and, and I had a fear in the back of my mind, like if I'm loyal, you know, and this individual later on hurt me, it's going to be a problem. You know, that was my uh, heart posture. And so God just began to just repeat and tell me like, listen, be loyal, be loyal, be loyal. Right. Uh, because understanding though, when God revealed to me who my God ordained spouse was, I wasn't looking for a man, okay? I wasn't, marriage wasn't on my mind. I had already set my heart out. I was like, listen, Lord, um, cause I was done with guys. I was like, listen, I'm, I'm just all about my children, um, my purpose and you, Lord. I was like, that's all my focus is going to be. And as soon as I said that, that's when he revealed to me who my spouse was. And I'm like, I'm like, didn't you hear what I said? <laughs> right. So, um, but yeah, God is after our character, okay? And so it's all about growing us up and maturing us. God is well aware that your God-ordained spouse is dating someone. He's well aware that your God-ordained spouse might be in situationships, might be in relationship, right, with other individuals. He, he noticed, right? There's a scripture in the Bible that, that talks about not awakening love, um, don't awaken love, um, before it's time, right? And that's what you, you know, you don't want to do because when we awaken love, like when God begins to reveal to us who our God ordained spouse is, because we don't have all the information and we're not 
fully aware how God goes about doing things. When God reveals, like when God say that's your God ordained spouse, we tend to just run with it, right? We're like, okay, come on, let's get married. Let's, you know, let's jump right on into it. When that can uh, work against you, okay? You know, you can set yourself up for rejection uh, because God may have not revealed to your God ordained spouse who you are, okay? So you want to be mindful of that, okay? Again, when God reveals to you, this is your God ordained spouse. In that moment, a revealing is being is taking place. That's it. That doesn't mean I go tell him or her, you know, hey, God said I'm your God ordained wife or husband. No, that doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean I sit up here and chase this individual around or I try to get them to pursue me or date me. No, it simply means God just revealed to you who this individual is in your life. Okay. And so, and then let me say this too, because when we talk about God ordained spouse, right? God ordained marriage. This is God's love story. So we have to wait on God. We have to, you know, wait on God's instruction, his next step, right? I can't do, I can't go, I can't try to pursue a God-ordained marriage without God. You see what I'm saying? I can't take the world's way of doing things and apply it to a God-ordained marriage because it won't fit, right? So this whole entire process, when we're talking about God-ordained marriage, God-ordained spouse, we have to keep God in the middle. So when God say, that's your God-ordained spouse, okay, all right, thank you for that information. Now it's time to wait for the next instruction, okay? Because it's so much I can say about that, okay? So understand, number one, uh, God is after our character. He wants to grow us up. He is after maturing us, okay? Um, and, you know, this is his way of just, I know for me, I could just speak for, for me, God presented me to my God-ordained husband. OK, and sometimes when God present you to your God or husband, they are blind. Some of these and, and I'm just speaking from experience and from what I have observed, this world have taught these men, some of these men that a wife. Is the woman who has the bad body, she got a lot of money, but she's a savage on the inside. She, she mistreats the man. She's disrespectful towards the man. But she looked good on the outside. So that's a wife, right? That's his trophy wife, right? And a lot of guys have this mindset. You know, they 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 because they visual, they are led with their eyes, right? And they think, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she looked good on my arm. But how do you feel when you're with her? How does she make you feel? You know, how does she treat you? You know, like, come on now. So... Um, just understand and know, you know, um, when God reveals to you, um, this is your God ordained spouse, you know, he might present you to your spouse. And if your spouse is blind, right. Cause that's what's going on right now. A lot of these God ordained husbands, uh, because their God ordained wife doesn't look how they think they should look, you know, it's a lot of rejection going on. Okay, it's a lot of these God ordained husbands are overlooking their God ordained wives because they don't fit the image that's in their mind. And so God, He said, "Okay, you know, God, God has a way. God has a sense of humor." He said, "Okay, mm -hmm, I'm gonna encounter you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with you face to face around how you think this love story is supposed to go." Okay, so I say all that to say, when God reveals to you who your God ordained spouse is that's just what it is he's just revealing this to you uh keep it to yourself you don't have to you know let the person know what god has told you because god will reveal it to them and they might already know but they might not say anything to you right they might not say anything to you um uh, and, and they will keep it they'll keep that information to themselves you know they will try to reject you and act like they have no interest in you, but understand and know God see all, he know all, and he will deal with them, okay? But if your God ordained spouse is dealing with someone else, they're dating someone else, all you have to do is just continue to pray. 
Pray against every counterfeit that rises up. Pray against that Jezebel spirit, Delia spirit, uh, Hagar spirit. You want to pray against all of these things. Um, and in its timing, God will begin to remove these counterfeits. God will make it crystal clear to your God ordained husband or wife who you are. He will make it crystal clear that God has chosen you and not them. No matter who is whispering in your God ordained spouse's ear against you, no matter who is trying to convince your God ordained spouse to choose this one over here, God, God will let it be known very clear to everyone. He is God and who God has chosen stands. OK, I wish I had um, uh, my Bible out. But in Genesis, you know, when Abram and Sarah um when they went, when they hit, went ahead of God, you know, and created this Ishmael situation, right? Um, Abram, he had went to the Lord and, and, you know, he was talking to God and he was like, if only Ishmael can basically like be up under his blessing, live up under his blessing. Uh, Cause he wanted God to make the same covenant God was making with Isaac. He wanted uh, Ishmael to have it as well. But God was like, listen, I bless, I'm gonna bless, you know, Ishmael. But understand and no, I'm paraphrasing here. He was like, but understand and know that my covenant is with Isaac, the promised child, okay, the chosen one. And that's how God would communicate it to your God ordained spouse. No matter how long they try to stay with the counterfeit, God will let them know, okay, you can stay on over here all you want. But I, I but understand and know that my hand, my blessing, my favor isn't over here. And he will let them know. And I can and I can say this with full confidence because I was a counterfeit. I was in a counterfeit relationship. I was trying to convince God this one is the one. I want to marry this one, right? I really was. Um, and I heard God. I heard God. He told me three times, let this individual go. After that, he told me to surrender. After that, he just removed his present. He said, okay, all right, I'm going to go ahead and let you bop your head a few times, right? And when God removed his hand, his grace, his favor off of my life and allowed me to have the very person I was choosing, I stopped choosing him. I stopped. I was like, I don't want this. Nah, this, is, this person is hurtful, you know? And that's what would happen when you are dealing with a God or spouse who's dating everyone else and overlooking you, right? God would allow them to have who they keep choosing until they want it no more. Okay. You know, they would, he would allow that until they see God's not in this. I might like how they look, but God's not in this, you know? And so all you have to do as the God or spouse, you stay in your prayer closet, continue to pray, Continue to, you know, prepare, continue to allow God to lead and guide you. Okay. Don't worry about who your God ordained spouse is with. This is the time where you want to focus on yourself. Take back control of your life. Okay. Don't worry about, don't worry about who they with. It's a distraction. You know, if you constantly checking and looking, it's a distraction. Okay. Um, because kind of fits know how to make things look like what is not. You know, so don't even pay that any attention. Don't even pay your God or dang spouse any attention. You know, God, I'm telling you, God has a way of bringing this stuff, this love story around full circle. Okay. All you have to do, stay connected to the Lord. Whatever he's telling you to do, do it. Okay. And do not worry about your God or dang spouse, who they with how they treating you, okay? Make sure you have your boundaries in place, okay? So that they cannot mistreat you. Um, but you continue to do what God is telling you to do, okay? Um, and don't awaken love before it's time. God will let you know when it's time. He will. He's gonna bring for my God-ordained wives. He's gonna have your God-ordained husband pursue you in the way that he know he should be pursuing you okay so you just stay your, yourself in position okay and continue to um do what god is telling you to do all right so that is it i am tequila coleman make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel and leave me a positive comment i'll talk to you all real soon